Oh yeah, and just one more video, man. This goes out to New Breed till the world's over. That brother right there, I've been following for a long time. And you know, I want you to support this man. He's in, he's in the truth. He's helping people. You know what I'm saying? Support this man's channel, man. If it wasn't for New Breed, man, I don't even know if I would be creating content the way I am. I don't even know if I would be so deep in the in the truth, in the word, and, and, and getting so much closer to the most high than, than I have been. I mean, we need to support each other. Anybody who's in this truth, please copy, paste, do it. You know what I'm saying? Give shout outs. I mean, this, this, this is a ministry. I mean, you know, at one point in the world, we're going to have to all, you know, get together at some point. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I know we're, sp we're spread abroad, um, but we're all here, man. We're just, you know, spread in between. So I want everybody to do their best to spread this word, spread this gospel, spread this truth. You know what I'm saying? Even if you can reach one person, man, one person can change the entire trajectory of the world. Remember that we, us, us righteous ones, what have, it depends on us what happens in the world. So we need to spread this message. It needs to be spread. We do this out of love and out of love for, our, for the Lord, for the Most High. You know what I'm saying? You need, we need to spread this word and do not let nothing get you down. It, when you see somebody walking around with the thing on their face, the face diaper and stuff and they look like zombies, you should just be like so grateful that 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 the the Lord gave you the eyes to see. Bless my eyes for I can see. Thank you, O Lord, my Lord Almighty. Thank you for for giving me the eyes to see the truth. You know how big of a gift that is. Other people are praying for some new rims, man. Just like Solomon, he's like the the Lord's like I can give you anything. He said, you know what? I want the wisdom. And the Lord's like, since you said that, I'm going to give you the wisdom. And I'm going to bless you. Chariot, you know what I'm saying? You know, with the, you know, horse and chariot, you know what I'm saying? All the jewelry, everything, man. You know, because he asked for the wisdom. Wisdom is priceless. Wisdom is priceless. You know what I'm saying? Being able to see the, see through all these lies, all this propaganda, to be able to see clearly the picture, to know exactly what the motive is of the opposition, of the powers that be, is, is not worth money. It's a priceless thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? We need, we're rising higher and higher and higher. And the more we spread this word, the higher we will rise and the more people we will save. Through the power of the Most High, the more people will turn, turn away from thy sins, from their sins, and turn to God. We do the Lord's work. I'm nothing but dirt. I'm nothing without the Most High. I know that. And what I believe in, and my ethics, and the way I move, and the things that I believe in, I... I'm willing to die for what I believe in. And if you ain't willing to die for what you believe in, then you really shouldn't even exist. You shouldn't have been born. And that's for real, for real. People are selling their souls, bro. Are selling their souls. They don't even use common sense or think for themselves. Whatever they hear, they do as they're told. Like a robot, bro. No critical thinking. They ignore or don't even have a gut feeling. They don't got no Because when you don't follow the most high, you ain't got the Holy Spirit there to save you. To, to, to For you to get that feeling like, I'm not going to get in that car. I'm going to get in that car. And then you find out that the decision you made was so wise. That car they, that, that you didn't get in ended up somewhere in a really bad situation. All the people got robbed and killed or, or whatever the situation may be. We're nothing without the Most High. We're nothing. And I feel very bad for people who are living in this time. Believe everything the news tells them. Listens to whatever the news tells them. Does everything the news recommends. And doesn't have that Holy Spirit there to guide them. 
Yeah, people are dying. It's real. But, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot to go into with that, with that thing right there. All I got to say is, no weapon of form thus shall prosper with the most high God. We are fearless. You stare those demons right in the eyes and they will flee. And I'm telling you, that's a fact. Now, you know, I'm tired, you know, I'm working on very little sleep. Um, but I just thought I had to, you know, get on here and spread this message. Um, to be honest, man, when you're in the truth, the more hate and backlash you get, the more that means that you're doing something right. Don't be afraid and don't worry when you get that hate and backlash. Those people are just haters and they're lost. You know what I'm saying? Do not let nothing bring you down just because um, the majority of the people aren't like us, aren't woke, don't know or want to know the truth and are living a lie. And, you, I mean, we can't relate to the people that were given over this strong delusion. They wanted the rudiments of this world. They wanted to ignore the truth. They wanted to just, you know what I'm saying? So that that's on that. All we can do is be an example. Yeah, yeah, times are getting harder. Yeah, this and that's going on, but but the righteous, the righteous need are gonna keep rising. They need to stay positive, stay in the word, stay faithful to the Lord, because we're the we're the thing holding this whole thing together. We are we're the ones holding the world together. Without us, it's over. The world would have already had burnt down. You know what I'm saying? We're uh, we're uh, we lead by example. So remember, we're leaders. And the Lord is the, the, the um, you know, the leader of all, the Alpha and Omega. Get into that Bible. Read scripture upon scripture, precept upon precept. Do not let nothing bring you down, please. Please know your self-worth because God knows your self-worth. And remember, someone will tell you, oh, I know you very well. No, the Most High knows us better than anybody. He can count the hairs on our head. I am sick of people who have so much potential and let like things of this world bring them down. You need to know who you are and know what the Lord is capable of and of what you're capable of by being a child of God and a follower. You are blessed. With the Lord, you will never run out of food, shelter, and raiment. Be grateful every day. This death culture, there's death everywhere, but we need to, and you need to, breathe life into your life. Breathe life into existence. We, this is just the beginning. The year 2022 is the year of ascension for the righteous. We're getting stronger and stronger and stronger while the wicked get weaker, weaker, and weaker, and more fearful, and it fearful, you can smile, and I see the hate within, like my boy Newbreed says. Remember, when anything gets very complicated, that's of the devil. The Lord is not complicated, and neither is life. You just got to know how to play the game. And remember, remember, this is a marathon, not a race. Do not over... Exalt yourself. Do not become... Some people become overly religious. Remember, we deserve to have fun. We deserve to let loose. The, we deserve to have a good time. The Lord gives you joy. You know how important joy is? Happiness does not last forever, but joy does. When you can have fun by yourself, that's a big, big, big sign of, of who you are and of how you don't need nobody. You're walking, and someone might say, I can't, I'm so alone, oh my God, I'm alone. Bro, you're not alone. Just because you can't see the Lord, just like you can't, just because you can't see your guardian angels. Let me give you an example. I've witnessed this, bro. Every time I go out, right, and sit at this one place, birds, you know, seagulls, um, they just come. They just flock all around me, bro. It's like, it's crazy. And I'm like, you know, my, my, my grandpa passed away last year. And 
I just feel like that's him, you know, his presence coming. I feel like that's my guardian angels checking up on me. Because at the same spot that I always sit at around the same time every day, I see other people sitting there when I'm not there, right? Like a, a couple hours before, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the area. I see people sitting there. There's no birds. There's no seagulls, no nothing around these people. But whenever I go and sit down, two minutes later, they swarm. And I thought it was because, like, one time, I thought it was because, just because I had, I was eating food. And now it's like, there's been so many times where I'm, I'm not eating food. I'm just, just chilling, getting some sun, right? And these seagulls just, <laughs> they, they just swarm all around me. So that's what I'm saying about, like, you know, I feel like it, it's robotic. Like, my cousin... All he cares about is facts. You can't prove that. You can't see that. Um, I, then I, how can I believe it's real? Bro, not everything was meant to be seen and proved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like robots work on only facts. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Not everything is supposed to be proven and seen. It's seen in the spiritual realm. It's proven in that way. I don't, I ain't no, uh, what do they call those people that just need proof for everything? Um, I'm sorry, I'm tired. I know the word, y'all know the word. Um, like, man, I was always spiritual, man. I don't, I don't, I, I, you know, I was, I was like, man, I believe in God, period. I never questioned God. There were times where I got angry and said a few things, and, and I was like, why God this, why God that? But I always repented, but, you know, I always had my faith, and that's the Holy Spirit. Like, um, so, you know, you don't need to... to prove god god is bigger than we can imagine bigger than we can than our brains can even fathom you know what i'm saying that's why you have faith you get that feeling within you that you just know that the lord exists you just know some things you don't need proof like physical proof to see like a math equation that's like like robotic bro we have our soul, bro. We we we're, we're multi-dimensional beings, man. I mean, we're only using like fifty percent, if that, of our actual full brain power. I mean, you, it goes very deep. I mean, not everything was is supposed to be quantified in an equation. That's why God, that that's 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 purposefully done too, because the Lord does not want it to be like that. He wants us to have just our faith in the Lord. Because people who have faith in our other Lord, they 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 in their in their in our own way, we just know a hundred percent that we wouldn't even be alive without the most high. I've been through so many things that like to me I don't even know I know how I'm alive, but if I could tell you guys I will one day uh, on everything that I've been through and to be standing right here in my mind, I'm like, how could you not believe? In God, how? After all the situations I've been, the Most High gave me strength to go through the these situations that even right now I'm like, how did I survive all this? I've been in the situations, I've been across the water, I've been into life threatening situations. I was I was a rebellious kid when I was younger, and I'm here with my four limbs. I'm walking unscathed. You try to t people try to say that. Bro, God exists, man. God is all. God is with you all the time. Someone's shooting fireworks out here. It's already been Fourth of July days ago, man. Anyways, that was another message I had to say. Shout out to New Breed, man. Subscribe to this man's channel if you haven't. And I love you, Breed. I love you, New Breed, man. You know what I'm saying? The chosen will continue to rise. And I love y'all. I love every single one of y'all, man. And I appreciate the love. And I ain't going nowhere. It's just the beginning. All right, guys? So keep your head up no matter what, all right? Peace. God bless y'all. Take care of yourselves, man. And um, follow your heart. And follow your intuition, all right? Follow your intuition. Walk with God. This narrow path can feel lonely, but remember, we must find the positivity in everything. Anything you're going through is only for your best. God loves you, cherishes you, and God 
will always send somebody for you. Always. I love you, all right? Stay up, stay true, stay prayed up, read your Bible, and one love. Love each and every one of y'all, all right? Y'all have a good evening. Peace.